back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm doing reviews. I'm to, up to book number 17 and I was using the library. I wanted an audiobook. So the audiobook that I listened to from the library was a brand new book uh, just written in 2020. I listened to Where is God in a Coronavirus World and it's written by John C. Lennox. It is a very short Kindle book. Um, it was an audio book. I listened to it, but it's also a Kindle book. Um, I got it from the library um, and uh, it was very short. I learned about other uh, coronaviruses within the history. Um, he does um, describe some scripture um, and I enjoyed it, but not so much. I gave it a three stars. It was a good listen to, um, but it didn't blow me away. So yes, and it was very short, maybe like two hours, uh, if that. So yeah. Okay, I'm up to book number 18. I finished this finally. It is a very popular book. However, I was disappointed. The book that I read was Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I loved his over, the man called man called over, Ovi, over. I don't know how you say it, but his other book was amazing. It was a five star, so I was expecting to read a five star book, uh, but I was bored in the very beginning. I am not a sports person at all. I don't like sports at all. So the whole, about 200 pages of it is about sports. Um, and then there, something happens, a very tragic event happens, um, at two, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a tragic event that happens in this book. Um, I was going to DNF it. I kept on saying, ah, I can't get through this. It's so boring. It's so long. Um, so I trekked on and I continued on and I started skipping paragraphs and skipping paragraphs because he jumps around a lot and he's very descriptive uh, about what he's talking about. So I didn't like the jumping around. I didn't like the different POVs. Um, I only wanted to know about the girl. So yeah, so I started skipping around. I did finish it. Yes. <laughs> So I did finish it, but I'm giving it three stars because I did not like the entire book. Um, it was too much, um, too much hockey for me in, and, um, just too much hockey. And then I didn't like the POVs. So, um, I'm giving it three stars. I think it could have been better. However, I am reading the next book. So, and I'm really enjoying the next book more than this one. So, yeah. So I'm hoping that I do a review of the next book, which is sitting here on my desk. I started it this morning. So I'm reading Us Against You. Um, and this is the next book. I'm giving uh, Frederick Bachman another review. Uh, because I do really love his writing. I've read other books by him and I'm giving him a second chance because it's just the hockey just didn't do it for me. This one I started already. I'm on page 43 and I'm really enjoying what I'm reading. It's more he's telling it by one person which I'm really liking. And yeah, so I'm hoping that this makes up for this one. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so as far as three stars, I'm hoping that this one makes a four for me. So we'll see. I finished another book. I certainly can tell when I have a five star book because it keeps my attention. It keeps me up at night. I can't stop reading it. I read every single word. I do not skip. So I have a five star for you. Yup. I had this out from the library and I could not put this one down. So the book that I read is a 2020 new release. And the book that I read was A Good Neighborhood. This is by Teresa 
Therese and Fowler. Oh my God. I thought this was a thriller. It is not a thriller. It is a contemporary confiction book and I could not stop reading it. It's about this girl who's 18 years old, 17, 18, and she moves to this neighborhood. It's like in a cul-de-sac and um, the neighbor um, attached to her house, like across the way, she has a pool and everything. She's rich uh, and she's white. And Okay, the neighbor is a African-American. His mom is African-American and his dad is white. So he's a mixture. And he falls in love with um, the girl who lives at the house. And the mother is sees this tree in front of the house and the tree um, is dying. And she decides to sue the uh, rich people, the rich white people. And after that, the book just like turns and this plot, t twist after twist, I could not believe what I was reading. I kept on reading and reading and reading and I could not put the book down. It has a great plot twist. Um, and yeah, I'm giving it five stars. I'm not telling you anything else um, because you really need to go through this one blind, uh, just like I did. I had I didn't even read the the synopsis at all. I just went into it blindly, and I was amazed that I really enjoyed the book. So yeah, five stars. You have to go and get this one. It's called The Good Neighborhood. Um, yeah, I had no idea that it wasn't a psychological thriller, but it was great contemporary fiction and I really enjoyed it.